Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? Bloops TV here. Now, today I'm going to be making an Aura Kingdom tutorial because the last one I made was a bit shaky. It was all over the place. It wasn't straightforward and it wasn't detailed. So today I'm going to make a new one and hopefully this one's going to explain it better and yeah, just more detailed. So let's start off with the Google Chrome. We're going back to the Google Chrome image here. So let's get straight into it. Um, you'll probably have something like this, so you'll drag your image in, make sure, you know, just put it on a big one, like a 1920 by 1080 um, just to start off with, and a lot of you guys, um, you're going to have problems with the image, so um, what I su suggest is you click the eraser tool, go over to the image, and as you can see, it's got like this circle with the line through it, it's like, nope, if you just click, and make sure you, uh, the Google Chrome layer is highlighted and just click OK on this. this, this will pop up, just click OK and now we can actually like do stuff on it which is good for us. Now a lot of you guys are probably just going to drag in a Google image, it's going to be a JPEG, it's not going to be transparent background so it's going to be looking like this, I already made this so I could show you guys now this one has actually got a white background so we're going to head over to the one tool over here, if you hold left click and choose the magic one tool Make sure that's selected, and then, uh, like you know, like I said before, make sure you can um, make sure you did that eraser thing so you can do stuff with the image. And we're gonna select the white part, and as you can see, it puts a line all the way around the Google Chrome, and we just press delete, and there's our transparent background. So now what we do is go over to the layer section, Control left click in the box, it's gonna. Highlight it again with the circle, press Ctrl and C to copy it. And we're going to head over to a 32 by 32 pixel um, file. So it's going to be like this. And we're going to make a new layer. And we're going to put in the Google Chrome image. Now you won't be able to see it, but if you press Ctrl and T, here it is down here. So you can just drag this up. And if you press Shift and go to a corner and hold it and we can drag it. So we're going to get it into this circle. So let's zoom in with the zoom tool here. And we'll zoom in a couple couple of spot. Oh, hold on. Got to zoom out a little bit more. There we go. And zoom in. Also, if you guys want to know how I zoomed like that, um, what I do is I choose the zoom tool and if you hold left click, you can zoom in and out. So if you move left or right, so left comes out and right goes in. So that's how you move in and out. Really good little feature there. So now what we're going to do is because we don't have the white background, uh, we have this background here. Now a lot of you guys want to remove this instead of just unticking it. Um, but So if you do want to remove it, then double click it. This pops up and click OK. Now it's changed to layer 0. So what we do now is just press delete. Now you can only remove a locked layer, so if I go back there we go. You guys can see it's actually got a lock on it. So anything with a lock, if you just double click it like that and just click OK, it does change and now we can do stuff to that. Um, personally, I don't like it locked. I'll just uh, unlock that shit. Um, yeah, so that's all you do. Double click and then delete because a lot of you guys want to delete it. So now we're left with the edges once again. So what we're going to do is Control J to duplicate. And as you can see, it's filled in the edges of the image. I'm going to combine them with, uh, so you click on the top one, shift, hold it, left click on layer one down at the, at the bottom here. It highlights them all, control E to com combine them all together. And then I'm going to control J again. As you can see, look at, look at the, uh, the edges when I dupl duplicate this, control J. Do you see that? Good stuff. Now it's a furthest I can do it. So, Control E again, and that's it. All done. Yep. Don't need to duplicate anymore. It's perfect. It's all nice and rounded off. Now we got to go onto the background. Now in our kingdom, you can't just make it a PNG and just keep it transparent. You got to make it pink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Control. No, sorry, Shift. Shift F5, and this fill thing will come up. Make sure you make a new layer, make sure the layer is underneath, so if you make a new layer, just drag it down. So Shift F5, Contents, Color. Now there's a neat little trick here, as you can see what I just did there, 
Um, if it's already on color, so if you've used it before in the, in the past, you know, you can press Shift F5, click color, and just press um, press on the tab again to, you know, for the drop down, just click it again. So you can double click it quickly, and you don't have to, like, click and go to color and then click. So, just a cool little thing right there. I thought I'd tell you guys about that. Uh, let's move on. So it's red 255, green 0, and blue 255. Click OK and OK. Now, as you can see, it's perfect around the sides. It's very bold, it's very impact. Good stuff, that's what we need. Now we go to File and we save it as, and save file type as BMP. Name it whatever you want. So we can put, I don't know, Google Chrome or the Kingdom. And we click Save and 24 bit Windows. OK. And now that is saved as a BMP, and that is all you guys have to know. And when you upload it, um, yes, you do need the, the pinkish, purplish thingy around the, in the background. And when you upload it, it will actually be tr uh, transparent, because that's how Aura Kingdom has done their setup. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was straightforward and more detailed. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for supporting. Peace.